What is going on everybody? It is Luke and today we're going to be talking about American Express or the Amex and some of the rewards or benefits you can actually have or get by having this card. Now I've talked about before, you know, how you can get your Amex points and you can go to hotels and I posted about that kind of thing before. That's more of the straightforward stuff, I guess you could call it, in terms of it's pretty easy to find and understand and see and you can see quite clearly when you sort of click on the travel. Um, I'm not going to go into it here, but you go to rewards and benefits and you can go ahead and see what's going on here, you know, Avios, hotels, it's quite in your face and easy to see. Of course, you can go ahead and convert your points from Amex to Avios, you can go ahead and purchase stuff through their own website. You can do a multitude of different things, right? Um, but some of the things you might not be aware of that you can actually do are also really, really good to use. And I would definitely suggest the first one I'm going to be talking about is airport lounges or priority pass slash other uh, lounges that you can get at airports. Now, depending on which credit card you've got or charge card you have with Amex, obviously the gold or platinum will depend on what benefits you'll get. So if you've got the gold, which is what I'll mostly be talking about here because I have that gold. Uh, if you have the platinum, you'll get more benefits um, and I can talk a little bit you know, about the extras. But the thing is with the uh, platinum, the charge per year is about 595 pounds to actually have the card. And if it's the uh, standard or more standard gold card, it is like a hundred and some 75 quid or something. So it's, it's, it's less. So you, in theory, what you would have to do is decide, you know, is that value um, worth the bonuses that you would use cash terms. So as you start to evolve your Amazon business and you start to do more in turnover, because obviously that is what we're focused on with this video, because turnover means spend, right? It's not really worried about the profit side of things. The more you will buy, more products you buy, the more money you're putting through, even irrelevant or profit, even though normally that's not talked about, that's not something you would say. But in this case, yes, of course, that's what's going to happen. The more money you spend, the more points you're going to get, the more rewards you can use and the more things you can have, right? Um, and so airport lounges are great. I've used them six times in the last kind of year because I actually have access to unlimited priority pass. Now priority pass, if you don't know what that means, is basically it gets you access to specific airport lounges. There's usually tons of airport lounges, not always. Small of the airport, sometimes there's none. So my local one, Colness, Colness, has not got actually a lounge. So if I ever fly out from there, which usually I will if I can because it's just 20 minutes drive, then there's no lounge. If I go to the capital, there's a lounge. If you go to like Istanbul or Dubai or whatever it is, then they've got like 10 lounges potentially, depending on you know what, what lounges they are. For example, Priority Pass gets you access into many lounges usually. Um, again, unless it's just one at a small airport, right? But then there could be stuff like British Airways lounges that you can't get into with Priority Pass. And then there's gonna be like a, a, I don't know, a business da -da 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 class. Like there's different lounges for different different things. Like, uh, And the easiest way to work it out is to, to download the Priority Pass app if you're actually you know, curious and, and see what lounges are available in that area. So. Let's get into it. This was actually just something I kind of obviously came across on Amex, uh, but we'll jump over to it. So really what you can get with this priority pass, it looks like this, you can download the app if you want to have a look, is you can get access to 100, uh, sorry, over 130 countries, 1,200 lounges, okay? So you can go ahead before you, you know, go ahead to that airport and decide. Usually it's three hours before, you could not go into the lounge three hours before. So I like personally to get there a little early Make sure, you know, I've definitely had times where I've wanted to use the lounge and I haven't been able to because it's, I've been rushing. Security is taking long, uh, longer than expected. <coughs> it, you know, whatever the reason is. Maybe it's a huge airport and it takes you 45, 50 minutes just to get from one end to the other. Um, so I usually, for the sake of an hour, I'll get there an extra hour early. Uh, what, worst, you know, worst case, it's, I, or best case, I uh, go to the lounge and it's easy. Worst case, I go through security and it takes ages, but I... I'm actually there for plenty of time, if you get what I mean. And I love Priority Pass. I'm going to jump to their website, right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and just type in a couple of these that I've stayed in. Uh, Istan... How do you start... Do you know what? For some reason, don't slate me, I completely forgot how to spell Istanbul. It does pop up. So, the, the, they just opened a new lounge. Uh, hopefully it's loading. It is. And this is the one that they have. Yeah, the IGA lounge. Huge, absolutely huge. The food, 
Not gonna say it was the best. It was fine. Uh, and I go through the, the perks of, you know, why you want to potentially use this. Because if it's free, why not, right? That's what you need to think about. You need to do more turnover, more sales, build your Amazon business, then look at the free stuff, which you can actually potentially get a lot back from. Because as you start to spend more money, more money, you have turnover, like, you know, so it's half a million turnover. Sitting, you're pushing for that million, for example. You want to be aware that, oh my God, like, actually, this is not the uh, right lounge, but for some reason it's not coming up with the, we can do this. Maybe it's the other one. Oh, I can't just, you know what, doesn't matter. We're gonna say we can't, we can't uh, use it. It's not even, maybe it's my internet. It doesn't really matter. It was, you can just search it on Google if you're that worried. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, in terms of the size, the lounge. Now, why do I like it? But love them. Well, one, you can get seating and relax. The worst thing I hate about going to Ben Airport is, well, before I had this, was having to find a seat with like a thousand people who are crowding, running around you. And it's like, you can't even, you know, if, if you do have to relax, either if it's a connecting flight, that can sometimes happen, uh, then perfect. You can actually, I actually quite like connecting flights now because I can just go to the lounge, have dinner, lunch, breakfast, whatever the hell it might be, uh, all for free, right? You can see here three hours before, all for free, plus coffee, beer, wine, spirits, all for free. So like if you wanted to get absolutely mashed because you're going on a lads tour or something, <laughs> maybe you are, then free beer, right? And definitely when you're going to places like Helsinki, I went to Helsinki, beers are like 10 pounds, 11 pounds, 12 pounds, 13 pounds, depends where you go. Airport would have been either up on the top, the topper, the top end of that, 13 quid. Well, I can go and get some beer. Another one that happens, I went to Belgium. Uh, it was a tiny, tiny airport, right? It was like their, it wasn't their main airport. It was like a sub, like a small, maybe it was their previously main airport and they built a new one. And it was literally just a code on the wall. You go in, never had that. Usually it's a reception and everything. And you basically can help yourself to the sandwiches, the food. Sometimes there's hot stuff. So like when you go to the bigger ones, they actually have like chefs who are cooking food there all the time. Plus they're refilling like almost like a buffet style thing. Uh, and it's amazing. And like, you can just have, you know, beers if you want, if you're going on, you know, if you're coming back, maybe I'm, <laughs> you sort of beard out. But uh, if you're going, you can have a couple of beers, you can have some sandwiches. And the thing about it is that I'm having two or three sandwiches, right? Because I'm making the most of it. Those are six, seven, eight euros. It, literally in the cafe behind the wall I'm in. So like, you know, imagine the cafe's literally behind there. And I'm having two Cokes, a water. That's like 20, 30 euros worth of food that I'm now consuming. So I don't have to potentially eat late. Like I don't know when I'm actually going to get into the hotel where I'm landing and when I'm going to get food. So I'm like, right, that's a stock up now. I'm not bothered, of, you know, my first day traveling. I'm not bothered about going to a nice restaurant that evening, right? Or something like that. I'm happy just to, you know, do what I can. And it's, it's every little helps, right? Why not get free stuff if you can? That's the whole point of this. And with Amex, you actually get four slots. So let's go back to here. Uh, here we go. So the Amex Gold, you get four complimentary land purchase passes a year. Now I have an unlimited for another reason, actually through an NFT, to be honest, uh, where I can go as many times as I want a year. But you can also buy this if you want. You can actually look and buy a private pass, but you know, you've got to spend money. Or you can get four. Now, you know, I'm going to Stansted soon and going to England, so I will make sure that I'm getting there early, going in. And I'm not going to be using this, but in the future, you know, potentially I might need to at some point. I can go ahead and do that. Don't have to spend money in the airport and it's a win-win, right? Now, a lot of people potentially don't even know this is something they can get with their Amex and it's completely free with what they got. Not only are you going to get the points, you're going to get all the hotel stays potentially and whatever you're choosing, but you can also get that, right? Uh, and, you know, again, go on to Priority Pass and have a look if you want. So a couple of other things people might not be aware of is, is what else can you get, right? I mean, you can, go, I'm not going to go into all of these because it's just going to be a lot, but you can see it's Nectar down here, Donate, Travel, Amazon. But just as a quick sort of brief, you know, glimpse, you can use points. Now, where it says use points with safety, I would not do that because the exchange rate that you get is pretty bad. So when I'm shopping at Ocado, it says, do you want to use your points? It comes up with a pop-up. Normally where you say checkout, and you go continue with that card and you type in your like security two-step authorization or whatever it comes up and says do you want to use points i would never use them because the exchange rate is the worst so that is the worst way to use your points you don't want to be doing that okay so just to bear in mind <coughs> 
but you can kind of see here H&M you can see Hilton's there so um, Iberia Plus and that's actually uh, to do with flights uh, I'm not gonna go through everything again British Airways you know Eurostar a couple of other you know different airlines here yeah there's no like Ryanair but, so you know don't think oh yeah free Ryanair no there is not uh, relative wars I've used a lot of these I went to Dubai for 11 days 10 nights and I stayed for free with my random Wars. Not only that, uh, and I'll do more videos into this later, but because I was using more random, as in I was accruing those uh, free stays, I got points on those stays. So I'm getting points on points, because I'm not even paying for the hotels, but I'm getting uh, random points. Then I could obviously use those random points to potentially get free stays because I got random points. And I think it's 37,000 points for like a standard hotel next to Stansted Airport, for example, right? Um, or I looked at the one in Vilnius if I came back late for my flight, you know, a city that is not fancy in terms of people wanting to go there on, you know, the tourist holiday, 37,000 points, right? And now the points actually went up from Radisson. So probably the best way to use your points is the Hilton now, not the Marriott Bonvoy. But if you are looking to obviously be a Thomas Parkinson, yeah, sure. Go and knock yourself out with this. But the point conversion is, I would say Radisson's fine. Um, but the Hilton is probably the way forward because Redison actually had an even far better offer than this before and they changed their uh, policy. So again, a point to note is don't go and convert all your point, uh, Amex points to like the Radisson or I don't know, whatever else you're looking to convert because in theory, if you're leaving them on the account, like I have points on Radisson, then you get a notification to say that they're changing the point system. So now when I go book something, it cost me more points. Well, I didn't, I wouldn't have converted those points to Radisson rewards if I had known that, right? But, you know, something I had to experience to understand. So you can keep them on your Amex account until you need to move them, okay? Um, and again, so you're getting points on points, like I was saying, you know, and not only that, but as I'm staying longer for free, I'm also unlocking their membership package, if you get what I mean. So I'll just quickly jump on to my Radisson for you. And I'll just, you know, not to say it's fancy, fancy, but I'll, you know, ex expand for you a little bit of information in terms of their uh, membership. So on my account, I have 250,000 points. Really wish I didn't have, but you know, I'll spend them. I'll spend them. Don't worry. Uh, I've got a free hotel stay next to Stansted uh, when I'm traveling home to England uh, for like 37,000 points. So, you know, you can get a feel for that. It goes all the way up to, you know, 75,000 points a night, depending on what hotel you really want. Something around that. And, and... In Dubai, it was about 45,000 to 55,000 points for uh, not the best one because uh, they opened a brand new one, but a pretty good standard Radisson, right? That's all I'm really worried about when they're going hard. I'm not looking to a fancy hotel necessarily, and I'm literally looking to go away for a relaxing. But when I'm out and about, not really worried too much about the hotel, then Radisson is perfect to me. But on my actual membership account, Obviously says that I've stayed 11 nights and it gives me some more details, but my benefits now are free room upgrade. So when I went to Dubai, oh, not straight away because I think it took time to update on my app, which is a bit of a shame. I should have really kind of checked that. Um, but I got a free room upgrade to like basically a big apartment. So I had like my own house, like apartment house pretty much. Everything was there, kitchen, everything. And they were leaving fruit on the table. They were giving extra waters, like massive bigger things like you know like these which yeah sometimes you get in nice hotels but they were leaving like four five six of those a day because we were smashing down the water you know drinking a lot of it taking some with us taking it out all for free right and i know it's just little things but they, you know it's like anything i've ever talked about it's like stacking those a little bit of that like color things of water you're not going to really notice it's not going to you know change anything but you start to add that up that's one one euro fifty bottle of water. Well, okay, not only that, free hotel stays. Right, I'm getting points now on those free hotel stays, which are going to allow me to get free hotel stays in the future, which would cost me uh, eighty pounds to say at the standard airport one. Right, and it's like stacking those up over time. And as you grow your Amazon business, you can get more rewards and you can compound that. And that is really what you're looking to do, not only on Amex but across the board, and looking for the best ways to use those points to maximise value of return. Okay, and there's loads of other things. And if I tear up to the next one, for example, good example, Tom Parkinson has been traveling a lot. He went to the Marriott Bonvoy uh, in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, where I met up with him. And because he's got the top tier of membership or reward or whatever they want to call it, 
he gets access to their uh, members lounge. They have like a members lounge there where you can go in and you get fr basically free drinks, free food. Okay, so someone like Sean, uh, Sean would absolutely adore that. Not that he necessarily, uh, you know, goes traveling a lot, but you understand the value. So, you know, in Dubai, it's expensive to go and buy, have drinks and, and buy food. Not, but yeah, you can find cheap, cheap stuff at McDonald's, for example, right? You can find cheap food, but relatively speaking, you know, things are 15, 20 quid for a meal. I mean, it's, it's fine, right? It's not actually stupid at all, but it's not 10 quid. I mean, I, I love a good old harvester with an unlimited refill Coke. If it's anything over 12 quid, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's just the way I, I don't know my brain works, right? If I can get unlimited salad, salad bar, three bowls of that. A chicken burger and I don't know if you would drink 12 quid game on for me I love that stuff um, even though 20 quid really for most people think they probably think that's lower in terms of the lower end of like expensive right um, but again you know, in theory you wouldn't even need to if you're going away for business trips just by yourself you could just go and eat in there plenty of stuff you know and and that is the same for Radisson's if I get the next tier um, then I can actually go and have that. So it's another thing that I can have. I don't need to necessarily go out and eat. If I'm not that hungry or just a little bit hungry, I can go there and have something to eat. Beautiful. You see what? You see where I'm going with this, right? Let's move on. So we've got some, this is the same, it's not the same stuff, but it's just so similar. Well, the one thing I want to also show, I think it just, ah, oh, here it is. So Airbnb's on here, okay? So we're getting hotel stays, but there's also Airbnb. And you're thinking, wow, I do like Airbnb and I like hotels too. So maybe I'll split it or maybe I'll put 40% through Airbnb and 60% uh, through hotels, whatever it is. So I've got my, I've got a, a balance on both or I've got the, the potential to put balance on both because with Airbnb, it doesn't expire. That's the one cool thing. It doesn't expire. And of course, they can't really change their T's and C's to say prices are going up. They could on commissions and stuff, but it should, relatively speaking, could it's a competitive market, like for example, Amazon, just because they put the fees up doesn't mean that prices necessarily go up. You kind of get what I'm going with that. They, they, they do in some con you know, some contexts, but not the same as what, like a hotel chain where they got the monopoly. Radisson is a monopoly of Radisson, right? You get what I mean? But you do not want to be converting your Amex points to Airbnb. Why is that? Well, I'm not, well, I can click it. It might not actually let me because I might it might log me out. I think it has logged me out. If it does, I'm not going to go into it. Um, Okay, fine, it's good. You can see here, I'm not logged in, so you can't see it, but you can see the value. So it's gonna cost me 5,000 points for 25 quid of vouchers. So that's 5,000 pounds spend, one point per one pound. Okay, uh, and again, you, you know, 100,000 pounds spend, you can get you 500 quid. But you don't want to be doing this, even though you might be like, well, I, I, do, I want to get you know, 500 quid for free on Airbnb, but is it the best? value to do that through Amex points because on Capital on Tap you can also get Airbnb with instead of you know you can also get Avios points where you, where you can convert uh, the credit to your balance and deduct it off of the total due okay so you have many options potentially also you have other, other gift cards but with our Airbnb sorry and I've done this already with uh, a handful of you know points is you can get one for one what I mean by that is 5,000 would give you, not literally one for one, it would give you 5,000 pounds, but it would give you 50 pounds worth of Airbnb. As well as that, you'll get a 2% bonus or discount, I guess they would classify it as because you pay less points, uh, for using it through that gift card. And all you do is you, get, you basically do it, you type in the email address that you want, so you don't even have to use the email address that you've got registered to your credit card on, on uh, Capital on Tap. Uh, you could even send it to a friend if you want, or another email. I just send it to another email because some of my emails, you know, are easier to look at than my business one. And then what I can do is I can then open up the email, get the code, go on my app, punch in the code, and it's there. And now I've got I don't know 400 quid in the account. Uh, obviously, you don't want to build it up too high, right? You have to be, you know, you don't want to have five grand because you know, yeah, I mean, five, you still use it at some point, but you know, I means you could probably stay for free for like three, four months somewhere. And you could do that. And if you are more of a Thomas Parkinson style digital nomad, you know, then yeah, for example, you could in theory, you know, the, if you're playing that sort of bigger brain game, you can in theory travel the world, live for free, 
and pretty much pay nothing because you could basically get it all for free. You get your air, but you can get your flights. So if you wanted to fly somewhere and do whatever, you can get not only that, but you could have a hotel stay the night before, right? Hotel stay night. We're going to do this. Hotel stay the night before. So you, you, you know, charm. Yeah, you're going to have to get to the airport, right? That's the cost. <laughs> but whatever. Hotel stay the night before, so you know, some relax. Go to the airport. You should priority pass. I need to start this side. <coughs> we do it here. Yeah. You uh, get to the airport. Use your priority pass. Get free drinks, free food. Don't have to go and buy anything, you know, in the airport, which is already expensive anyway. Then you're using your free flights. Then, unfortunately, actually, you know what? Is there Uber? <laughs> okay, we might be. You know what? I think Capital and Tap could have Uber. So if it doesn't, it doesn't, and that's a shame. If it does, awesome, and we can actually get to the airport for free. All right? So that's the potential. We could add that to the beginning. And then you're getting to the country, and then you're using Airbnb to live for free. And all you're going to have to do, and I, you know what? It's, it could even be Deliveroo and stuff. If you really want to like push it to the extreme, you could live off like Deliveroo because you have so much cash back everywhere that you can, in theory, live for free. Live for free, of course. Like, and at you then, then yeah. All right, hang on. We can do this. We can add these on. Then you use uh, what is it called? What's that points thing? Uh, I haven't used it for ages. Airtime rewards. Is that it? Yeah. Then you use any time rewards you your phone bill and all that kind of thing. So you basically your monthly cost is zero. That's just as I mean that's not per, that's not definitely not correct. But you give or take. Your living digital nomad lifestyle around the world is free. And actually, in theory, in principle, in th in theory, yeah, um, that's what most a lot of rich people probably do, right? And bigger businesses. They probably do that. Uh, definitely rich people who spend a lot. Uh, they already have a lot of money, but they can probably get so many points that in theory, and, and there's definitely, okay, now that I've said all that, actually, there's probably people that have, you know, if you do a 10 million pound, uh, 10 million dollar business a year plus, that is probably feasible to actually live for free off of all those points. So people say, you know, points are nothing, but I've just come up with the perfect scenario where you could live and travel the world for free. And you've got minimal, you know, you could, you could basically just, just buy food if you want it, um, go out for some dinners, whatever. And, you know, even for dinners, you could potentially even find gift cards for that, depending on what, where you are in the world, right? So, you know, you don't want to sleep on this. It's actually a really, it's something that I've really started thinking about this year in terms of uh, value, added value, because, you know, all of that cost, in the, you know, in theory, I keep saying that word. All that cost, you could, you might be happy to spend, or you wouldn't think anything twice. You go to the airport, you go and buy a sandwich, for six quid. Oh, whatever, I'll buy a drink, two pound, whatever. Yeah, meal deal. But you add that up, and you compound that over everything. A hotel stay here for sixty quid. Ah, that's fine. You know, I'll do that. Uh, whatever, whatever. Like I'm going away with my friends to, I don't know, maybe Denmark or something in a couple of months. And yeah, I've got to buy the flight for fifty quid. Fine. Like it's Ryanair. Because there's not a lot of it's not as easy it's, it's not as easy to just get free flights uh, from where I am and and if it is it's like Ryanair is so cheap it's almost not worth wasting the points so that's something you should also think about is it worth getting free flights when the flights are so cheap anyway that it's not worth you eating up those those points uh, to actually fly because the the cash conversion of those points is worth more if you get what I mean with some with another provider like a hotel stay or something. Uh, and then I'm flying, I'm going to get Airbnb for free. So I'm going to get my Airbnb for free. You know what we're going to do? We're going to say, can you get Uber on Capital on Tap? Is Uber um, Capital on Tap. I don't know if it's going to come up. Okay, there we go. Uber. So as long as the country has Uber, you can also get travel. <clears throat> so we, we basically just pieced together like the perfect lifestyle, haven't we? Like it's even made me think, holy my God, like if you can, if you can hack, it's not even a hack, if you can maximize that to the extreme and you would have to, you know, in theory, well, yeah, you saying, sorry, in theory, I'm just like working up, like almost like I'm uh, talking about like physics. In theory, uh, the physics, no, no I'm not. It's just how I, how I think about things. Uh, you could basically live for free. You could live on five hundred quid a month, couldn't you? You could live. You could basically pay yourself five hundred quid a month, like sure. But actually, be living a sick lifestyle. 
And that's the thing. It's like you could, and then what, what would happen is you wouldn't have ever have to take dividends. You wouldn't have to ever do this. You wouldn't have to ever do that. You would have much more money in the business all for free stuff. I mean, like, I mean, I've only just gone over Amex and a little bit of capital on top. There's much more that's around, right? You can get, you know, cash back, for example, from a cashback website in terms of like, you know, top cashback or something. And you could use that money to live as well. So you don't even have to spend anything. You actually have maybe even in a negative, you can actually save money every month living for free and flying around the world and, tr you know, unlimited Ubers or whatever. I mean, you'd have to build your business up pretty high, but you understand now the potential of the free benefits. So when you're starting off small, if you're a smaller seller doing 100 grand, 50 grand, 200 grand, still accrue those don't spend them S save save it you know for example you're getting 30 quid here 30 quid here just save them up you know just save up save up save up save up your amex points because as you start to scale you'll start to see that well, actually you know i can add that in yeah it wasn't great but you you need to get in that right mindset from the beginning or at least from the media when you start to take things a bit more seriously with you know arbitrage game that that is the potential of where that can take you so I'm going to leave the video there, 20, 26 minutes long, mm -hmm. enough of that. But it really, you know, even me just talking about it now, it's really got me, my brain churning and working. And I'm going to try to bring out more videos like this to kind of hope, uh, sorry, to help you broaden your horizons in terms of uh, bonuses and cashback. So hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.